uh, Mohamed Nawab here, a faculty at UCLA Cardiology. And as I mentioned, uh, now in the meeting of uh, Academy of uh, Cardiology, Congress 2017 in Vancouver, uh, we've been working on inflammation and uh, effect on cardiovascular disorders. And uh, past few years, we have been uh, focusing on intestine and its role in systemic inflammation. Uh, we have found that lysophosphatidylcholine, one of the lipid oxidation products, involved in inflammation of intestinal cells. Uh, the unsaturated lysopc uh, stimulates the uh, inflammation in these cells and uh, in relation to the work we had uh, started in the 1990s when we reported that uh, HDL levels may not be a good index of determining its role in preventing inflammation, we reported that HDL function due to its composition is more important and uh, we can have individuals with high levels of HDL cholesterol uh, and yet not being protected against cardiovascular disorders and some individuals with low HDL cholesterol doing well. Maybe their HDL turns over better and uh, we put the emphasis on not being that concerned about the low levels of HDL as much as reducing the LDL. We do not have good medications to uh, fix the problem with HDL. They may raise the HDL cholesterol levels, but mortality and morbidity has not been reduced in clinical trials, whereas we have good medications to uh, reduce the LDL. Um, as far as the ratio is reasonable, uh, we should be fine. So in 2000, with the help of uh, Dr. Aaron Thromaya, our group, Dr. Fogelman and Dr. Reddy, and colleagues, uh, we developed uh, a peptide, a small 18 amino acid peptide that was APOA1 mimetic. It does the function of the main uh, protein of HDL, and we showed that it reduces many inflammatory complications. Uh, it did not have uh, adverse effects in experimental animals or in patients that we uh, tested the peptide. But the production, the synthetic uh, generation of the peptide is costly and we went for expressing it in plants. Dr. Reddy and his lab uh, developed uh, the techniques to express the peptide, the 6F peptide this time, in plants and show that it is effective in reducing inflammation and uh, atherogenesis. And we have continued this work in uh, discovering and demonstrating the role of the oxidized lipids in the intestine, such as lysopc, the unsaturated form, as I mentioned. And uh, Dr. David Merriweather in our group and colleagues have shown that TICE, transintestinal cholesterol efflux, uh, may be one of the mechanisms through which the uh, peptide works. So we are continuing that work. And in addition to atherosclerosis, uh, Dr. Reddy's group is showing that uh, cancer, colon cancer, lung cancer, uh, can be prevented or reduced by these mimetic peptides. Uh, 